Welcome back, everybody, for another episode of The Forest. Since we finished the game last week, I have unlocked creative mode, but I decided to wait on creative mode and continue the survival gameplay because some of you expressed interest in that. And what better way to continue survival gameplay than to start base number three? So my first base was based around being further away and having a lot of walls, defensive traps, and spikes to protect it. The second base was based around being on a remote island with a bridge across that can be used as a choke point or as a, you know, destroy it and isolate the base. And then, of course, I expanded with walls and more and more traps. So this point, I want to get away from that. I want to do a base in the middle of the lake here, right along the bridge over here. That will be no walls, no traps. Uh, I might build like a little dot that comes out, but for most part, the idea is to make it completely waterbound and accessible by raft. And later on, I'll have some towers coming out from the sides up there to allow me easy access to the land, which will be, you know, uh, rope bridges that I can easily chop down and separate it. And of course, you're not going to see cannibals climbing up my towers and going across my rope bridges, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. But we are going to get started. I've already got my raft done and I have already loaded up with logs. And this is actually attempt number two at this video because the first time I had trouble with the raft constantly flipping. And at one point, once it flipped, it flipped into my blueprint. And for some reason, the blueprint glitched out and just completely destroyed itself. Okay, I think I finally have got a set of dimensions that are going to work for me. This looks like a pretty good size because I don't want to build a super massive floor uh, size base this time. I don't want it to be as wide as the second base. I want it to be a little bit more compact and focus more on multiple floors where I have like the first floor uh, for this stuff, second floor for this stuff, and then third floor can be an open type uh, upstairs balcony type thing that I can use to connect up there and over there at least with some towers and rope bridges later i'm gonna start getting this uh put together with all these and i've only got 144 logs this time first time i record this video i messed up i went a little bit too big on the blueprint because it was 289 logs that i was gonna have to use to build the platform so this is definitely gonna be a lot easier to do uh as long as the raft does not flip out on me again and cause problems so I've um, got a bunch of trees or trees chopped down, logs sitting up there. Get attacked by cannibals. Fortunately, I got two of them to fight each other. But this is what I've been dealing with. Just building the raft and getting that first few logs harvested was constant attacks by cannibals. So in case you're wondering why I am using the smaller raft instead of like the houseboat, uh, it's because it's easier to maneuver. Uh, I could have used the houseboat, and I may do that later on if I really have a large amount of resources I need, that it just ends up being feas more feasible to do it that way. But my ultimate plan is to have at least two bridges across the land to make it easier to carry supplies or to run out and get food and such. So I didn't think I needed more than just the houseboat right now, or didn't need more than just the raft right now, and two max height log holders that's 24 logs total per trip that's a pretty good number of logs i don't really need rocks or sticks in large quantity at the moment so i didn't need to put those on there i may build a second raft later just for sticks and rocks uh or i may do like i said may upgrade to a houseboat later depending on what i see i need uh, as far as supplies when it gets to uh, really adding on to the uh, the new base. Okay, it appears I have worn out my welcome on the other side because I am getting non-stop cannibal attacks over there right now by the sinkhole and even had a armsy come up and say hi to me. He lost interest quickly after I hopped on the raft and scooted back out into the water, but yeah, they're just really harassing me over there, so I'm going to go over to this side where they have to kind of cross the water a little bit on some of those rocks to get over here. Maybe they'll leave me alone long enough for me to get some more logs without too much interference. Okay, so I've made it through the night. I didn't get attacked anymore once I switched to the air location uh, to harvest trees. 
I did have problems getting the trees to or the logs to not knock over the raft. So I'm going to go save real quick. And as you can see, I've already got some more cannibal visitors wandering along the ridge here where I have been harvesting. So they're not making this easy for me to get what I need to build this new base. And here we go. The last ones. So the platform is done. My foundation is ready to go. You know, if they implement better controls so make it easier to snap things in place so you can more evenly build, that would help. But this is fairly even across, it looks like. The only thing I'm missing is maybe I could have gone a little bit further this way. Or maybe even a little bit further this way. That's fine. This will work. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have probably this side open right here so I can pull my raft or houseboat up and use it for unloading right here. And then we'll start building up from here and having more floors at least two with an open roof uh maybe three floors in an open roof i'm not sure yet but let's go ahead and get started with the walls at least all right so i am taking out this wall and this wall and of course i want windows that hopefully will not get glitched like the ones at my base did There we go. So I can see out every single direction on this. And I also have a nice open spot here. So when I build the next floor above this, this will still be open. And I can come up here and just walk right out onto my raft. Or pull my raft right up here. Bam. Flush to it. Look how perfect that is. Absolute perfect height. Just walk like that. Which means technically I could probably put a log sled on here and use it for transporting extras across including sticks and rocks as needed and it's just going to be a question of all right here's the sled i'm pulling it backwards onto here now i'm here now i hit this and maneuver my way around but yeah that is the start of base number three uh just like I, with base number two i kind of got it going i'm going to have to run back and get some supplies from the previous base because I am out of water in my water skin. I have, I think, one dried fish left uh, that I brought with me. So I need to get back, save, restock some supplies, uh, and get some stuff together to help build the base up. Like uh, extra turtle shell for the water holder, things like that. Because that's a couple of things you're not going to be able to get right here is the, like the turtle shell. And it's a little, it's really difficult right through this area here to get sticks. So I'm probably going to be doing a lot of uh, work in that area there because there's a lot of sticks uh, and saplings up there for sticks. Uh, there's also a lot of trees up there. You can see I also have one of the uh, fishing villages in the distance there, which has a few supplies, but not much. Over there is a lot of trees and more saplings for sticks, but also a lot of crocodiles dangerous but if i harvest them that's a good source of meat because that's four generic meat per crocodile along with a full set of lizard skin from it and then of course you know right here we've got the uh sinkhole behind us but if we keep going on around the corner there part of the reason why we have so many cannibals through this area is there's another cannibal camp right over there off the beach which has rope hanging up uh not much but some cloth mostly rope which will be helpful as i am building stuff out here that requires rope all right well that's it for today if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button also hit subscribe and uh hit the notification bell to keep up with all my content during the week you can find me on facebook and twitter as well and uh, you know leave a comment let me know what you like what you didn't like if you have suggestions for the new base because this base is going to be my fortress of solitude a place where i can be perfectly safe and just let my, you know, sanity recover after all these cannibal attacks. So let me know if you've got suggestions for how to arrange it, stuff to put in it, things like that. I'd love to hear from you guys, as always. And of course, again, thanks for watching. I'm Mr. Spicy, and I will see you guys in the next video.